Hola, señoritas. Welcome to today's stream. Hi. What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? I'm back from my hibernation, which only took four days. We've been we've been way worse before with the streaming schedule. So I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear a single thing. I'm here. I'm motivated and I'm tired as fuck. I woke up at 3 a.m. this morning and I was completely awake. Now the tables have turned a little. I'm not so awake anymore. As you might be able to tell from my uh, eye bags. <laughs> but I do want to get today's project done. And therefore, let's just fucking do it. We're troopers. Um, <clears throat> let moi explain. I built a pergola. Y'all have seen that. And now I want outside curtains for my pergola. So it looks like a Bali beach wedding. Give me some Bali beach wedding. Give me some Ibiza mellow summer nights this is what I want and therefore I bought some fabric let me show you also I need to make some coffee and in, in just a few <laughs> minutes because I'm dying from exhaustion I need caffeine alrighty there we go Boom, boom, boom. I got three things, but I will need more for the whole project in the future. But <clears throat> the main part and the main annoying part is going to just like hem, trim, and so all of this into something usable. This is actually polyester. And you know me, I don't really like polyester or any sort of <sighs> plasticky fabric. But I was super surprised when I held this because it is super light that I wanted. It will be see-through see so the sun can dimly shine through and it will not take away any sun or vision too much. So it will be like beachy flow, you know? Um, these are five meters, uh, but they are three meters wide. So I will cut them in half. So I will have like 150 wideness width, width, width is the word, and um, five meters in length. And five meters, you're like, Paula, your pergola is only three meters big. Like, girl, calm the fuck down. Yes, but I don't want it to just be a single curtain. I want it to start, let's say, roof, pergola, right? I want them to start here, have a little hanging through so it looks like a soft ceiling, and then fall down. So that, therefore, I need five meters each. That is just some, how do you call this? Some weighted string that I will sew in the bottom hem. So when there is a bit of wind going on outside, which, you know, <laughs> does happen outside, the whole thing won't be blowing away and all out of the place it will hang down more. It's not too heavy, so I need to try this out. I actually have no idea if it works. And then I just got a shitload of yarn because we will sew some meters today. Right. <clears throat> I wanna make some coffee. Can we make some coffee first? Yes, okay. Let's do that. Can I take you into the kitchen without you judging me about my mess? I will, I will put it away, out of frame. <laughs> let's, let's put it out of frame and then nobody can judge. Also, 
friend of mine has been giving me a little espresso tutorial. Shout out to V. Also, big man helped me with the pergola. Or more like, did the pergola. I helped V with the fucking pergola. <laughs> and uh, my guy actually taught me more about barista skills. Do I consider myself a barista? Absolutely fucking not. But at least someone told me about the basics so far. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see how we do this. There we go. That's not too bad, is it? Boom. My friend, follow me. We're making coffee. I got new beans. This one um, is a Arabica 100% from... V was telling me, Ethiop Ethiopia. Ethiopia. He told me about them having the best beans and I fell for it and I was like, okay, let's try it out. Obviously, they were the most expensive ones that you could get there. <coughs> Thanks. But so far, I don't regret it. They're cute. Now, I think the, the hardest part is that... <laughs> Now that my sleep schedule is fucked, I need coffee at four or five, and then I can't sleep in the evening, and then I'll be awake at 3 a.m. again. Oh no, I don't have water in here. Oh, is it gonna be enough? It has to be enough, it's already warm. For f okay. Small coffee. So the grinder is set that 14 to 15 grams of coffee will be enough. So let me check. Ready. It's gonna be loud. A little disclaimer. Now it's gonna be loud. Also, new thing I learned, the little uh, silver thing on my grinder is actually used for locking the beans into the grinding chamber and it prevents them flying around in there wasting my time so uh thanks v <laughs> thanks for teaching me things uh, i don't know what it is but i'm very i i don't know if i would say that i'm eager to learn because if I would be eager to learn, I would put more effort into actually looking things up. But I just prefer someone else who knows about things just teach me. It's so much more efficient. And I hate, I absolutely despise watching YouTube videos about a specific topic. Like it will in the end give me the same information as if someone who teaches me will give me but you know it's 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 boring watching youtube videos just can't keep my attention to it for longer than 15 seconds actually and when somebody talks about it and tells me i can listen for hours like hours okay let me guess all of my cups are dirty Yes. Come 
on. Really? Not even a single one left? My oh my. I hope that y'all have excitedly watched the progress in latte art. It's, it's not really a progress. I would say it's more like a daily gamble whether or not there is something good coming out. Today I didn't even post one that I did because it was so bad. Like it was, the milk was perfect, but the pouring was poor. Like absolute poo. Okay, let's check if that is gonna be enough water. I feel like it will be. Oh wow, coming out like chocolate. Beautiful. I think it likes it when it's like 15 gram because that was a little under extracted. Smells good though. The other day I saw a very funny TikTok about um, someone getting into barista culture. And he pretty much summed it up because he was like, this one day I had a coffee that tasted like the literal blueberries. And since then I just bought myself expensive barista stuff to get back to that <laughs> and it's so funny but I feel like it's the same with wine just that you don't really need fancy equipment for wine you just need fancy wine is there fancy equipment for wine there probably is sommelier is a bougie okay let's do this no fear you got it Now I hit the sweet spot, but only after a few too many minutes. Reminding myself to fill up the water. Okay, give me something good. <laughs> Please. Milk is looking good. I'm polishing it right now. And it actually really fits the term because it's gonna, like, it's, when you swirl it around, it gets this glazy look and it's just like white, thick paint. It's crazy. Alrighty, let's do this. Oh, that was a poor, poor. Oh, 
that's bullshit. No. Everybody needs to learn how to do things at the start. I think mistake analysis, the first pour I do is just wrong. Maybe I need to hold it more away from the thing because the first blob just gives me so much white on top and it shouldn't. It shouldn't just it should just sink down. And even though I swirl it in the middle, it's still just about bounces back the white foam on top. And because there is so much on top, I need to swirl it a lot and then I'm losing all the foam that I want to put in the actual latte out at the end. And then when I lose it, okay. <sighs> Delicious. Um, yeah, more, more practice needed. What can I say? Not there yet, not even close. You guys can have a look in just two seconds. Let me uh, turn this back and then I'll show you. Well, I, I, I could show it here. There, boo, that is poo. Oh well. Let's not overachieve. Mmm, glorious days. Okay. Why did I turn on the flash? Um, where the Just probably mistapped on it. Okay. So, fun fact about the fabric that I bought. I actually wanted white curtains, like cold white. But then, first of all, cold white or like an icy white probably looks super weird with the wood because it's too much of a contrast. Wood is more like a natural material and then you bash on some icy, plasticky white nah and then i asked well it was first of all it was hard finding this because i i had no idea what even to ask for i only knew the kind of characteristics the thing had to have and then i told the the guy that was working there and he was like well <laughs> you're asking for too many things here like something that is stable and suitable for the outside kind of you want something that is not too expensive because otherwise I could have just taken linen. You want something that is flowy and still looks light, but you know, robust and something that is see-through. So woman, you need to, you need to get your mind straight. Mm. But in the end we found this and that was the only color available. And um, at first I was hesitant and now that I have it laying here, so happy I took that. If this, is, if this would have been white white, it would have had maybe one good month. And after one month it would have been patchy and yellowing from the sun and maybe from some rain and soaking up some dirt from the bottom. So, you know what? Everything turned out to be perfect. Let me grab my sewing equipment and then we can start. It's gonna be quite boring to be honest because it will be just sewing over sewing. Ouch. Not my feet, please. I 
wish I had a good sewing machine that could cut, hem, and sew in just one. <laughs> Ow. My tootsies. I'm good. Trust me. Okay. I need to start with cutting. First, let me figure out uh, where the middle is of this huge chunk. lately I don't know why because at the moment the clients in the hospital are not doing well we have a lot of suffering at the moment but for some reason it's still a very rewarding work day I would say like after one day I do leave the department and I'm like, I did good, which is nice. Would be a shame if I hated my job. Alrighty, there we go. Oof. That is the whole thing. My Jesus, who bought all of this? I anticipated to pay around like 50-ish euros, ended up being more like 100. Was not too pleased about that, <laughs> not gonna lie. Was I being naive and it was never going to be 50 in the first place? Yeah. Oh well. Mm. Let me quickly check how to sew this because the outer thing is already cut in a way that they won't fringe out. And I do have these anti-fringing thingies, but they look ugly. Fuck it, let's do it. Would rather have that than the whole fabric disintegrating over time. By the way, guys, only one more week. Only one more week and I will be, one week and three days. And I'll be on holiday again. I've been having an awful lot of holidays lately, but <laughs> You know why? I'm not going to complain. I'm, I'm very happy that it is that way. I don't need to be ashamed.
Does anyone have either experiences or have heard about stories of solo camping in Norway? Because I'm not going on my own, but I plan to take like a few day hikes and be on my own and then just sleep in a tent. And obviously there are bears in Norway, right? If someone could tell me like, nah, there are no bears in Norway, I would be more than happy <laughs> because then I don't have any fears really. But if they are, is it safe to camp by yourself in Norway? Oh, wait, is that Nido? Nido! Hey, call me too good to follow you Instagram, on Instagram, Freckle. Petty much, Nido, petty much. I can follow you, but I probably won't look at anything because I'm never online in that account other than when I post stuff and then I'm offline. <laughs> Is it still a thing that you try to have more followers than following? Petty little thing. How are you doing? I just felt like being petty. Fair enough. Be a sassy queen if you want that. Suits you, Nido. Suits you. No, I pull too much. I'm just going to trust that the clerk cut this in or like folded it in a clean way. Otherwise the whole thing is gonna be. But you know, it's fine because it's bloody curtains. They're gonna be ruffled anyways. Mm. Rarely use socials. Yeah. Haven't you, you haven't been following on Instagram for a long time, I feel. Or have you, not sure. I never kept track of it because I didn't use it for a long time. But now I'm in the Insta game. I am Instagramming. How is the pergola doing? I haven't seen the most updated picture yet. Well, the, the pergola is up and thriving. Wanna see right now? I can show you. Um, the, the annoying part is it's very hard to take pictures of it because it is just so big that it doesn't fit on the thing really but you see it it's super cute and I have my kiwis and I planted my my cacti outside and then I have this cute little thing here it's beautiful but also one reason why it's hard to film it is because I don't want to film like all of my environment, you know, like I don't want to be that person that puts everything up on the internet and then disturbs someone else's privacy. <laughs> I see your plant family. My plant family is so adorable. <laughs> 
And the new leaf that is growing is bringing me so much joy. Like every 12 hours, I'm checking on it and it looks completely different. Let me take her out, okay? Let me, let me show you the star of the show because she has been giving the last few days. I mean, all of them are stars and I could literally take out every single plant out of this and show them off proudly, but this one is a fresh mama bear. And I haven't even shown the big leaf. Oh my God, look at her, she's so cute. I'm in love. Look at her, I have a pretty plant. I was this person who never wanted to have house plants and now look at me. I have a fucking thing for. I made a plant greenhouse out of the IKEA shelf. Look at me. And I need to do more of that because for the vacation before I go, I need to make sure that they have enough humidity because this one is already getting a little grubby. You know what? Not enough humidity. I, I, I need to resist touching it. Like, I just wanna, ah! <laughs> it's just like, it's so soft and delicate and green and lush and I wanna touch it, but I shouldn't. You get cat ladies, but you're a plant lady. I would love to be a cat lady and a plant lady. <laughs> and I was thinking about this the other day because I've always, I've always, my most present argument for not having any pets because I love animals and I would get a hundred pets if I could was I'm traveling too much and therefore I cannot guarantee someone else is going to take care of the animal. Well, guess what? This one and these babies are probably requiring more care than a cat right now. You need to give them attention at least twice a day by turning on their humidifier and giving them all the nice humidity. And then you need to check the temperatures, right? And the humidity, right? And that they're not moist enough and not too dry. And I've fallen into the trap. I thought I was like, oh, I can't have a pet. Too much work. Now look at me. You're beautiful though. You're absolutely beautiful. Hold up a second. Are you a soda roy? No way that you are. I always thought that was just the icky water I was pouring on you. Also, your leaf is hanging a bit. How are your roots? Cry. Oh, the baby's trying to outgrow. Should I repot this? Nah, she's fine. She's fine, right? I'm so sorry, I know so little about you. No, it's actually a Sodoroy. It has these white camouflage pattern. <gasps> My God, I'm so lucky, I didn't even know that. My cats just require daily top-ups and they're good. And top-ups you could automate. Like, it's so easy to get an automatic feeder. But so far, I have not managed to find an automat like automation or auto auto automatic way to make sure these plants don't die. Oh, I will hate to give them into holiday care because I'll be like, yeah, just make sure they don't die. And they're going to be like, okay, what? how do I care for them? And I'll be like, I don't know. 
I'm I'm just going with the flow as well. Like I don't I really don't know. Alrighty. She's dripping. Give me this. Okay. We're saying goodbye. Bye bye. She's going back into her little paradise again. Please don't be mad I took you out of there. Please. Don't be such a fat. Okay. More humidity, ladies. Okay. You get that. It's only 40%. I get it. Oh, the water is out. That's why. Ugh. Okay, guys, so the, the next project already, I can tell, is going to be this damn greenhouse. I thought it was holding humidity quite all right, but it's not. I just opened the door for a few minutes and it's down to 40% from 70. to an end oh my god oh my god coolio we're done isn't it pretty I'm gonna have my own Bali wedding on my own balcony. Huh. Putting a ring on myself. All right. Number one. Numero dos. Now let's see. Option A. I get the ironing thing out that will probably give me better results but it's also a bit annoying ah, let's get the iron out let's not be lazy today I need to waste some time before I can go to bed anyways. Cannot possibly go to bed at 6 p.m., could I? Hello, Bimal, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Okay, where to start? I should probably start with the long sides and then at the end do the, the bottom edges. So it's going to be one, two, and then I can iron it down like that and then just put in the safety pins. I'm good too. I'm just very tired. But other than that, I'm good too. I need to start at the other end just because I'm going to put it in this way into the sewing machine. Wait, no. I need to think how I put it. Yeah, no. But I will sew this way. So I need to put it in, yeah, okay. Um, 
extension cord would be nice. Let's see what we got. Oh no, I forgot something at work that I needed. Oh no. It's okay. Ooh, I do have another extension cord. Sorry, Robert, I need to see you, the electricity. Can I just... There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I've come to the age where I feed my ironing my iron with the water that I was supposed to drink. Should you start doing in your late 20s? And I say late 20s, but I'm literally just 26, I swear. I swear. Ooh, beer. God, I opened that one. I have a minor issue. Uh, you have a bigger issue right now. Sorry, my lady. Um, I don't really drink that much alcohol, right? Not that much to none. And the main reason is because I don't, well, I don't really need to, and I never really have it at my home. But now that my friend from Bavaria came over, he brought me three crates of beer. Three for me. Just me. One crate. When I say crate, I don't mean six pack. I mean, how much is in them? 20? 24? One crate has like 24 beers. And now I have them at home. And I do have them in my fridge cooling. So it is very tempting. <laughs> to always have a beer when I open the fridge. I'm gonna turn into some mad raging alcoholic just because it's so refreshing and so nice. I need some reality checks, people, all right? When I start drinking like more than two beers a day, I don't even want to drink one a day. That's just so much over my usual intake. Man, oh man. When your friends are too good for you, so they turn you into casual alcoholics by accident. <laughs> me and an A <laughs> Me and an AA meeting eight months down the line. So uh how did all of this start? <clears throat> It all started with the damn pergola. <laughs> it's gonna be me. It was the bloody pergola. Oh, maybe let's not put this on three. That's polyester. Polyester don't like too much heat. Oh, yeah. And it already told me that. 
cool. Sorry. It's much nicer with the ironing though. I'm happy I did that. It's hot. Patricia, calm down. Speaking of Patricia, reminds me of this one situation where I screamed out, what was the girl's name in Outlast? Anyhow, Outlast trials are out. I've seen uh, I've seen it when I was browsing Twitch yesterday, and I was like, "Oh, a lot of people are playing Outlast," and I was like, "Oh, Outlast Trials, is that uh, it, it is a multiplayer thing, right? It's not solo storyline as usual." I didn't look it up to be fair. But I'm pretty sure Phantom was talking about it in the in the last streams or the last Outlast playthrough. Because I feel like we could play a horror game anytime soon again. Good times, you know, good times. Scaring myself to death, you guys laughing about it. Mm. Fun for the whole family. Most of the times I'm very proud and I'm, I'm kind of happy about my very impulsive decision making when it comes to projects. But then sometimes when I sit at them and I realize the actual amount of work that it's going to be, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> what did I do? I could be outside meeting friends right now. But I'm sewing curtains for my damn balcony thing. I'm kidding, I'm happy. Speaking of happy, the gym. Let's talk about it. I was super happy the other day because I realized that I was making actual progress. And some might say like, duh, yeah, obviously you make progress if you go regularly. I was not truly aware because first of all, my diet is terrible. I don't eat fairly any, any anywhere near enough for the calories that I burn for me to build on actual muscle. Like I think I could do a lot better with eating and protein intake, but not only that, I was more not bothered, but I was thinking that I wouldn't do any progress because 
when I started CrossFit, I was more into getting really into it. Like I was giving it all. And I went like three or four times a week, like actually probably around only three times a week. But when I went, gave it all. And now it kind of changed to me going more frequently because I just enjoy being there and it, it gives me a really nice routine in my everyday life. But I no longer give it all. I'm like, okay, I'm in my holistic, feel good gym era where I just do whatever feels nice and I'm not overdoing it. And to be honest, my motivation is not the biggest, like whenever it gets bad and I feel like the lactic acid building up, I'm like, okay, I'm, I stop now. And I'm not stopping, stopping, but I definitely stop trying to get any faster or better. I'm just like, oh yeah, you know, at this point, I'll just go slower. And at least from my perspective, it didn't make much sense for me to gain any sort of development out of it. If you, if you are like that, if you train like that. But then the other day we had PRs again and I actually bumped up my PRs by a few kilograms. And that made me very happy because I realized like, hey, even if I train in my comfort zone, I still do progress. So that's good news. Yay. Your girl can now lift 108 kilogram deadlift. Oh. But we don't talk about my snatches and we also don't talk about any upper body strength, all right? We're only talking lower back. We're talking back squats and deadlift and the rest we, we never heard of. Don't even know my PR. Is it gonna be over so Oh my God. <laughs> It's so much fabric left. And this is only half of it. I think we need to change the system a bit. This is way too slow. That's just first iron, all the length. And then when it's all nice and set, I will return and pin it down. Because I feel like this is going to be the faster way. Is it acceptable to do a power nap stream? Is there a category where people just sleep on stream? I know that is a thing, I just don't know if it's a category. I volunteer as tribute.
My oh my, we're at the bottom, nice. Righty. Question is, do I also iron this and then just pin it on the way back? So I could. Nah, let's let's do it properly. You know, how warm is it in the UK right now? Because Germany is getting a massive heat wave. Was like 27 degrees the other day. Like no shit, like actual 27 degrees Celsius. It's nice having the spring back and the start of summer. It is about time, you know, we're moving into June. Obviously it's gonna get warm. I keep forgetting that we're already this proceeding into the year. Start of the year always feels so slow and then summer is like, Oof. okay, bye. Gone already. Today at work, 
I actually had so much fun, even though it was terrible, actually, at some point, all right? We have this like super cute five-year-old after heart surgery, okay? He's adorable. He is super communicative and you can talk to him a lot and he just likes food. And we love a king that likes food, all right? We love kids that are responsive to food because you can be like, okay, I need to change this plaster, but you will get ice cream if you don't scream. <laughs> Sorry if I put it like this, but you know, this is, this is the business. This is pediatric business, okay? And my colleague in the morning, <laughs> he's a dad as well. So he cannot say no. And we love cute kids that are like, I want Coco, all right? But maybe after the third Coco, you should stop especially after fresh surgery, you should stop. <laughs> because when the late shift took over and I was the middle shift, so I witnessed both, the late shift had a little um, accident. So the cocoa was no longer in the kid's belly, the cocoa was everywhere in the bed. And I'm, you know what, it comes as a surprise, but not the biggest fan of throw up, okay? Disgusting, don't, don't like it. Like, yes, I'm a nurse, still disgusting, all right? Um, and normally, post-surgery, the stuff is not as bad as if you would, for example, have to witness it in everyday life, because obviously, if you don't eat anything, then it won't be as disgusting and smell and consistency. Sorry if I talk about this in a very graphic way. I hope at this point everyone who has issues with the topic have turned off because this is gonna keep on going for a bit. Um, but hey, I feel you, I'm also disgusted by it. But it's my job to put it away if it's there. <clears throat> So my colleague is the same as me. She's like, Paula. <laughs> and I'm like, what? She's like, please help. <laughs> and I go into the room and I just see it and I'm like, no. And she's like, yes. And I'm like, no. <laughs> and we just stand there and we just pity ourselves for, for a few seconds and I'm like, Okay, girl, we got this. Because in situations like this, you gotta keep your heads up. You gotta just make the best of the situation. Even though it's complete dog shit, you gotta, you gotta at least laugh about it or try to keep the, the mood up because, mate, you gotta go through it <laughs> if you want it or not. And you'd rather go through it together having a laugh than crying. So I get everything ready and I'm like, okay, let's do this. And I, we clean it up and I give her, I'm like, girl, I have something for you. I give her like a mask and we have this super strong mint oil for um, cleaning like mouthwash, like very strong mint mouth, mouthwash. And I'm currently doing this in a wrong way. Let me quickly think. Mm, I need to flip it again. Wait. Yeah, I need to flip it. And then Put them in that way, yeah. So I give her a mask and I put a few drops from that mint oil in the mask. And when you put it on, your, tear, like your eyes start to tear up because it's so 
strong. It's like, you you know when you had to wear FFP2 mask because of COVID arena and you were chewing like a very strong gum for the first time? Yeah, that's the sensation, but 10 times worse. <laughs> but at least you don't smell anything anymore. Or you can pretend that you don't smell anything anymore. <laughs> So I give her that and she's like, oh, at least now that's a little bit better. But we still, we still stand there and we're like, <laughs> but <laughs> because we suffer together, it's fine. And so we get him up, we clean him up. And because it was just so much easier to get him out of the bed um, and then change the whole bed. Um, I just take it like I get gowned up three gowns on top all right i'm not fucking around three gowns on top take him on my lap i'm like oh <coughs> you're still smelly and she's changing the bed so we place him back everything is like super clean brush the teeth make him nice and cute brush the hair you know like after that, you kind of want to pamper the kids because they don't feel great about themselves either, right? So you want to give them a feeling like, like it happens. Now you're clean again. Don't worry about it, little bud. And it's so adorable <laughs> because he's laying there completely knocked out because obviously we gave him pain medication for moving him around. Everything else would be super rude. And... Um, <laughs> then it's still smelly in the room. And I'm like, girl, hold up, I got something. <laughs> so I walk over to adult ICU and I'm like, you guys have essential oils, do you? And they're like, yeah. So I steal and I borrow, sorry, I borrow a lavender essential oil from them. And I go back to my colleague and I was like, okay, okay, here we go. And I fill up the sink with hot water, put some droplets in there. And then we got these like muslin towels, you know, when you have a baby and they drool, you usually have like these hundred pieces of muslin towels and you just have them everywhere because babies throw up and drool. And I take one of that and I'm pretending to be in a sauna and I'm like, okay, Today's special oil is lavender. So I dunk it in water, the towel I put on the lavender thing, and I'm like twirling around the thing in the room. <laughs> and yeah, we had a great time. Made the best out of the situation for sure. Gotta, gotta keep, your, keep your heads up. And I'm actually super happy about this because it really shows that if you work as a team at work, even the shittiest situations can be so much easier. And I know that when I would be responsible for a patient and that happened, I would be so grateful if someone did that to me as well, so. It's cute shit. I hope my um, battery from the camera there is keeping up because I started the stream with like 38% of battery left. And usually with 100% it can film for like three, four hours. So let's keep the fingers crossed.
my god, why is this such a pain in the ass? It's too much work. Deciding to take the iron though was a good thing. I feel like it would have taken like three times as long without it. Are you guys, when it comes to completing tasks, are you the kind of people that complete one um, genre of a task first until you proceed? Or are you like, like for example with the curtains, I have to make two of them. So would you do the step that I'm doing right now to both curtains before you start sewing them? Or would you just complete one curtain completely and then start from the start again with the other? Because I feel like I'm the person that likes to complete it by genre. Like I would probably start with the second one, bring it to the same level, and then only start to complete them when they're both on the same level. But now I'm not gonna do that first. I'm too excited to see the curtain in action. Second, I don't have enough safety pins. So I need to sew them, get the pins back, and then do the other one. Can I tie that on here so it doesn't slip around as much? Oh, for God's sake, what? <laughs> Ouch, that's hot. <laughs> that's hot. <laughs> Sorry.
is actually a very grateful fabric. It's really easily ironable and pinnable and in general, just a very nice fabric to work with. I didn't expect it to be this nice. It feels like a super lightweight linen, but it's not. It's polyester with linen structure. And the price by meter was literally eight euros, which is pretty good to be honest. I think the cheapest material that comes close to the one that I was trying to look for was eight euros online. And it would have been more like stretchy, thick fabric. So that would not have been a match. Oh my god, how much more? <laughs> I'm tired of this, Grandpa! Oh, I'm too damn bad! Okay, last one, and then we can proceed to sewing it together. Oh, actually, I will already start with putting in the, the weighted thing, because that will give me just a nice and clear line. Wait, mm, no, actually, I take it back. Let's not do it, let's do it after. All right, my friends, we got it. We did it, we did it. Oh, I did not check my posture well doing this. <laughs> oh, beautiful. That aside. I'll be so awake. I'll be so awake at 10 p.m. Decision making not on point. Oh no, I already had one of those. Don't tell me it's the exact, no, okay. No, okay, not, no, 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 no. Complain too early, it was a good choice. What did I last sew with this that was navy blue? Was it anything I did on stream? Oh no, that was the, the patches for Hona's shirt. Yeah, no, I did not do that on stream. Wow, that's been a while. That's why this girl is so dusty. falling asleep I might just complete one all right people I might complete one and then have a nap at 7 p.m. what a smart idea oh wait one two I don't need this step for now no Yeah. 
十，十Power her up. Where did I put my sewing scissors? <clears throat> Not here. These are fine as well. Okay, I might not even complete one curtain. I might just complete the next work step. <laughs> God, I'm tired. Technically, I only had four and a half hours of sleep. Gee. That's icky, don't do that. Do not try at home. doesn't make sense. I did put the needles in the incor no the right way. Never mind. Never mind. Hope you're ready for some therapeutic as fuck sewing stream. Let's do a length of like three. It will hang outside, but three is fine. Let's do two and a half. doing
reasons I'll never be a seamstress. Hello. <laughs> Nido, you got them smart ass. Obviously something is wrong. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the phone ran out of battery. So yeah, I could hook it up to the outlet, but it's gonna be annoying because that needs charging and it's not gonna work for the next like 15 minutes. So I think that I will just end the stream here because I can't use this for neither because this one is on 8% as well. Rips. Um, yeah, I should, I should charge my phone before I stream. <laughs> damn it. Don't damn it me, okay? I work. 40 hours a week. I'm a very, very despisable individual. <laughs> Let me show you my plants, okay? Let's have a little plant tour to make up for it. How about that? Let me turn around. Boom. Look at the babies. Look at this one. It's a philodendron gloriosum. And this one is just so so beautiful like I cannot this one is oh I love her and she turns like a changing red on the on the bottom side of it this one very like not spectacular as in like the breed of it but it's so beautiful and then in the sunshine do you see how pink it is oh my god beautiful cool we got the black velvet 
she's cute i don't really know how to care for her but you know we'll figure it out this one is um alocasia poly and i got her with like five or six leaves and she died and now she's clinging on to her last straw <laughs> and trying to survive but i think she's she's getting there you know what I think she actually got it because the leaf is looking super strong and healthy and I, I think she's trying her best. She's doing good. This one is a philodendron majestic something something. I don't know. He's just thriving. The fried egg lost one leaf. Um, I'm not really sure why because the other leaf is looking good and he's getting new growth and another new growth here. So, oh yeah, no, actually I know why this one is dying, because it was standing in hydroculture, it was in water, and uh, it completely killed off the roots. This Calathea, let's not talk about her. Let's just say that I'm very happy that she is even in this state right now. <laughs> the Begonia. Looking cute as always. You can't really see it because when the when the sun, oh my god, not dirty things. When the sun hits its leaves, it just shimmers beautiful. Then we got the cute little baby mama here. And this one is a Calocasia Hilo. You can see she needs more humidity. But I think I almost killed her off because she was also in hydroculture and she didn't like that. So I kind of last minute saved her and this leaf is fine. And look at that. Not my fat finger, the new growth. <laughs> this leaf will be the next leaf. I will be posting its journey. And then the, the, the anthurium on the back. They're cute and they're really cute. Uh, don't know how long they will stay alive. Don't look at this one leaf. I, I needed to cut it. It was uh, terrible. And then uh, this alocasia. It's it's a calocasia. She's also dying with one leaf. But that is okay. Uh, and this one was just a test version because that was attached to this one and I tried to separate them. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure yet. Not sure how it worked out. Cool, anyways. That was the plant tour at least. And um, yeah, I will need to just uh, keep you guys updated on the progress on Instagram because streaming, I need to prepare my streams better. Sorry for that. Uh, I might actually stop right now and just have a nap because I'm tired as hell. <laughs> so, Nido, thank you very much for being here. And everybody who's watching this, thank you for watching my content. Thank you for being cute as always. And stay cute, sharp and kind. And be the best version of yourself because others will be happy that you're here. Rest up, mate. Thanks. Things. Right. Enjoy your Thursday. I'll see you probably this week again. Bye. Ciao.